Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on December 6th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a look and an update on space weather, world weather forecast, and as well, earthquake update. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, watching pretty large CME let go right here, plasma filament eruption from the southern hemisphere of the sun in an earth-facing position but not in earth's direction most likely in a southward motion going under earth having a look at the last 48 hours incoming cme ejected there coronal mass ejection as well we have a solar flare to talk about which was not earth-facing Looking at outgoing imagery here, and that's where the solar flare was. M-class solar flare. Having a look at a negative spectrum here, you can really see the plasma filament rip away from the sun right there. And as I said, most likely we'll be heading towards the southern hemisphere, which is interesting. We just had a total solar eclipse in the southern hemisphere only visible and in, in antarctica having a look at multi-spectrum here all of the events from the last 48 hours on our star not much to talk about except for two bright regions that are incoming most likely going to produce some activity looking at another light here it's just amazing imagery i'm really happy and i love that i'm able to see and as well share all of these images with you solar dynamics observatory the links are in the description if you ever want to see these for yourself or you can tune in every day to morning dew having a look at the space weather prediction app iswa and as it shows coming in on the 11th and 12th that see me wasn't earth facing but as I said, most likely will go underneath our star. Solar X-ray flux remains low after M-class flare over yesterday. Geomagnetic activity slightly elevated. Looking at LASCO 2 and 3 here. Of the events, coronal mass ejections, two of them. And as well, solar flare. And if you get a clear night out there tonight, you can see... Saturn, Venus, and Jupiter in alignment out in the sky, the southwestern sky. And as well, you can see Mercury and Mars drifting through here on Lasco. Real-time solar wind sitting at about 500 kilometers per second after being slightly elevated to 522. But the big thing is here with our coronal hole wind stream that we are in the middle of is the phi angle, which has completely flipped and has not flipped back for the past 24, 48 hours. So let's have a look at earthquakes the last 24 hours, which we did see an increase, which I was talking about the last couple videos. All of the deep earthquakes are going to lead to a lot of movement. And look at our planet. Very widespread earthquakes still in Mexico, right up into El Huitzu, Mexico. 2.8 here reported in Sunnyside, Utah, as well as Ridgecrest. No major swarms to report throughout California. Most of the action has been here in Hawaii as they experienced quite an extreme weather event over the last 24 hours. And now they're seeing the pressure release as that system leaves. And look how far south these earthquakes are coming. Right by the possible further southern seamount. Nahayu, Hawaii, 11 kilometer depth. And most of the earthquakes have been on the southwestern flank. I also wanted to share a couple earthquakes here to report in northern BC. Sizable 4.0 here in Fort St. John. As well, another one in the north, Juneau, Alaska, 3.1. And with all of the deep earthquakes that we've been having recently, it's not surprising 
that we're seeing a lot of widespread action like this across all plates. North America, South America, African plate, Europe, China, across the world. Look at this map. We're riddled right now. Alaska, Chignik, Alaska, 4.0, 33 kilometer depth. Minor activity right up into Anchorage, 4.6 here. Nami, Japan as well. Mutsu, Japan, 56 kilometer depth. 4.7 here in Yilan, Taiwan, 104 kilometer depth. Look at this. 5.0, Magok, Myanmar, and as well a 4.8 in Xingnang, 4.8, China. As well, 4.9 reported in Turkey today, 8 kilometer depth. Pretty shallow quake. 5.3 here off the coast, off the coast of Africa, as well 5.5, Mid-Indian Ridge. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours. 5.3 here, south of Africa, 10 kilometer depth. As well, earthquakes South Sandwich Islands, 5.0, 4.5, and 4.9, right by the Michael Volcano. South America, 5.1, and Taltal, Chile. As well, Peru, seeing a 5.1. Alianza, Cristiana, Peru. 4.8 here, Central East Pacific Ridge. And here, actually, is the largest earthquake of the day, 5.6, Kermadec Islands. And our deepest earthquake today, 4.6, Levuka, Fiji, 547 kilometer depth. As well, our very active volcanoes along Indonesia, Luwatolo, Merapi, Semeru, still seeing earthquakes north of all of the islands through there. And they're seeing tons of monsoon rains as well. Have a quick look here at the last seven days across the world for earthquakes and we are a rockin we we go from average to slightly above average with usgs seeing a lot of tectonic plate movements a lot of activity south sandwich islands and all this pressure moving up through mexico gotta watch for the cascades juan de fuca Right up into Washington, Pacific Northwest, everybody should be on watch. All of the extreme weather that they've been experiencing recently, a lot of great changes are coming. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center here, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated today, as well as the wind maps across the world. Suiza and Najima in Japan, Raventador in Ecuador, La Palma in Spain, Simaru, Indonesia, of course, Nevada de Ruiz. Colombia, Nevada to Chile in Colombia, or no, Chile, sorry, Sabincaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador, Fuego, Guatemala, Pavlov, the United States, Popo, Mexico, Semsnopochnoi, United States, Karamiski in Russia, Era in Japan. So that's about 14 volcanoes getting updated today, and we have an active and erupting 50 across the world. A close look at the strong winds that were moving through Ontario tonight. As well, quite a system that was moving through Hawaii, bringing uh, flood, response, respo uh, flood response support north of the islands there with very strong winds, high surf, and as well, flood watches from all of the rain recently. Looking across the Pacific, very vigorous. Right now, this is showing the last 48 hours of winds. And as well, monsoon rains continue here through Indonesia up into Malaysia, Medan City, Sumatra, and eastward to Papua New Guinea. Five-day forecast brought to you by Media Earth. And as well, daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here, home base, Ontario, Canada right now. And you can see here in the five-day forecast, things are going to cool off quickly for a few days and then warm up again with some rain so right now we had very strong winds that intense low pressure system north of us is going to be leaving quite a mess across quebec and as well the atlantic provinces 
Strong winds behind that as we had 70 to 90 kilometer winds this evening. Very strong winds. Watch for a pretty big system here to form through Colorado and move into Ontario. And that's for Friday into Saturday. Watch for intense weather, big transition of temperatures, and a lot of moisture. And then we've got this big superstorm, which we are entitled, titled Superstorm, heading towards BC and Alaska. And this is going to be a doozy. Look at the size of this thing. That's going to bring some very strong winds, heavy snowfall, and as well torrential downpours all across the coastline and grinding up into Vancouver, eventually the center of that low for the long range. So heads up, BC, you have an extreme weather event on your doorstep. As well, Iceland, you've got quite a system heading your way as well. And this one comes out of the East Atlantic, racing across Newfoundland. It's going to bring a lot of snow to the Atlantic provinces, but then watch in the long range, heading right towards Iceland. That's right, the center of that beast is going to be heading to Iceland. Most likely going to cool things down across the volcanic islands. As well, overlooking Europe, pretty intense low pressure system heading in for the weekend. Parts of Italy. Through the Mediterranean, going to be an intense Medicaid, I would call it. These systems are so vigorous and big across the northern hemisphere right now. We are trying to transition big time into winter. Look at these cold temperatures across Russia. So extreme cold temperatures already being reported across northern Russia, all the way eastward to north Alaska. And as well, even far south double digits, minus double digits through the Tibetan Plateau. Five-day forecast, daily evaporation rains through Papua New Guinea, Indonesia, Malaysia. And as well, Philippines could see a tropical cyclone developing there, just off the Switzer Reef, overlooking Australia. Dry throughout the week, mostly daily evaporation coastal rains north, and one system leaving a little bit of moisture across southeast Australia. New Zealand, you've got a system heading towards you as well, coming in Friday. Hawaii, this is what you were dealing with, is that very intense low pressure system here. And it might be a possible typhoon for Southeast Asia in the long range if it doesn't get sucked northward and come back around again, that high pressure ridge. We'll see what happens here in the long range forecast. But that system is now leaving and not affecting Hawaii anymore. South America, not much has changed since last forecast. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times. Brazil border with Argentina. Africa, not much has changed either. Daily evaporation rains, no major weather systems affecting you this week. Cooler temperatures, parts of northern Africa, Africa though, duly noted. I'm going to leave you here looking at the northern hemisphere pointing out these huge systems that are forming across the Northern Hemisphere because it is going crazy. So was our planet. So was our weather. So are humans. Much love for you all. Prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye now. Much love. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.